we want to find the length of the indicated curve from the equation we have there and we're going between x equals 1 and x equals 8 so to do that we're going to use the equation um, length is equal to the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared that's the equation and then our f prime of x can be the derivative so the derivative of this is nice kind of icky it's going to be equal to 3 halves 4 minus x raised to the 2 thirds raised to the 1 half negative 2 thirds and this this is the derivative of what's on the inside here x negative 1 third we use the chain rule so um, simplified down this is x raised to the negative 1 third times 4 minus x raised to the 2 thirds raised to the 1 half okay so um, I should put that there all right so length is going to be equal to the integral of the square root of 1 plus quantity x raised to the negative 1 third um, 4 minus x to the 2 thirds so, oops raise the 1 half squared so before I integrate every anything um, I can do this so 1 plus and I can break this apart so we t we square that and then we square this so what we end up with is x raised to the negative 2 thirds and then times quantity 4 minus um, x raised to the 2 thirds and I can still distribute this negative x raised to the 2 thirds and ultimately what that ends up being is um, so we distribute this we end up with 1 plus 4 raise or 4 X raise the negative 2 thirds and then um, minus and then this the negative 2 thirds and the 2 thirds cancel out and we just get minus 1 so these ones cancel out and we're left with the square root of 4 X raise the negative 2 thirds and then we square this again or take the square root of that and um, what we end up with ultimately is 2 raised to the x and then take the square root. take that negative one third well that that kind of reduced down nicely so now all we have to do is integrate this from 1 to 8 so integrating that we get um, quantity 2 and then this ends up being um, Four thirds, so negative three fourths. X raised to three halves. Two thirds, I mean, because you add one to this. Sorry, I just erased everything. We're gonna get three x, three x raised to the two thirds. So we get three times cube root of times that squared, so four minus, we plug in one there and we get three. So we get 12 minus three, which is equal to nine. And that's it, that's the length. Hey, that's pretty nice cut and dry. All right, a little confusing, but I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, have a great day.